In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for rubidium, Rb. So to do that, we go to the periodic table and we can see that rubidium right here has an atomic number of 37. That 37, what that means is it has 37 protons. And because this is neutral, it doesn't have a plus or a minus after it, that means the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So we have 37 electrons for rubidium, and we need to distribute those around the nucleus. That's what the electron configuration tells us, is where they are oriented around the nucleus of the rubidium atom. So we'll use this chart here. There's other ways to do it. You could use a table like this, and you can see in the description how to do that. But I like this way. I think it makes a lot more sense. So let's try it. We'll start out with 1s, and s can hold up to 2. So we have 1, 2. We'll put 2 in there. We've used 2 electrons. We come over here to 2s, we'll put 2 in there. Now we'll be used 4. Then we go to 2p. p can hold up to 6. So 2p, 6. We've used 10 electrons. 3s, 2. 3p, we'll put 6 in there. 4s, 2. 3d, 10. At this point, we've used 30 electrons. We have 7 more to use. So we go from 3d10, 4p, we can put 6 in there. We've used 36, 4p, we go to 5s, and we could put 2 in 5s, but we really only need 1, because that'll all add up to 37. So we're just going to put 1 right here, and that's the electron configuration for rubidium. This 5 here, that means this is the highest energy level, and because of that, we can see that rubidium only has one valence electron, like all the other elements in this group 1 here. You will sometimes see the 3D written before the 4S. That's okay, they're very similar in energies, but traditionally, we write it this way. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for rubidium. Thanks for watching.